You guys need to understand, I was just playing Scrabble, and during that game of Scrabble... Oh my god, Joe is literally calling me right now. I'm not gonna pick up. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna pick up. He's calling me, guys. Do you know why Joe is calling me right now? He's calling me because he found out that there's lead in protein powder, something that I've told him before. Four and he's like, months. oh no, what am I gonna oh, eat yeah, now? Wow. And it's like, food, probably. Food, probably. I'm gonna- I'm gonna tell him I'm not picking Yum up right lead. now. I, d I don't have time to talk about the lead in protein powder. He just sent me a message that's like, what am I gonna eat? Is it all gonna be yogurt? And like, dude, I don't- I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't know what you're gonna eat. You shouldn't eat lead. You know, that's I know I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not a doctor, but I feel qualified to say, um, don't eat lead, guys. Don't don't eat lead. Okay, blame Thomas Midgley Jr. Mid Migley Jr. for the amount of lead in the world right now. It's 99% his fault. Oh, he's the he's the leaded gasoline guy. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, the tetraethyl lead guy. He didn't mean to. Sometimes you just destroy the world by accident. I'm sorry, man. It's, you know, it sucks to suck. <laughs> I hope I don't destroy the world by accident. That's the thing about being a VTuber that's like kind of depressing and scary is like How do I explain this? If you're a VTuber, your capacity to do good is almost depressingly good. It's almost depressingly high. Like, I became an engineer because I had this idea that I would like make things that changed the world and made the world better. I haven't done that once. I've I've made a bunch of dumb R&D stuff, bunch of, Ellie you know, cute mini bot love. Uh, garbage that has never been used for anything. And, uh, you know, at the worst, the only things I ever made that were actually used for anything were like when I, you know, creating nightmares. Uh, I, you know, during like the worst year of my life it, for the military industrial complex. So like you can only make evil things as an engineer, it would seem. I, I had this thought when I was like in school, which was okay. Before Kesha came out with Rainbow, I was I was in high school, right? I would have been high school. I think. Yeah. And before she came out with Rainbow, she'd never really made anything like from the heart. She made that one kind of weird but kind of interestingly powerful cover of um uh Don't Think Twice It's Alright that that song. Uh da 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 right? But but aside from that, she hadn't really made anything heartfelt. And people were like talking, trivializing her music and stuff. And I was like, man, Kesha's done more good for the world than I'm ever gonna do. Like, as an engineer, I'm never gonna make anything that touches as many people and like improves their life as much as like getting down to Kesha in the club. Yeah, you may not have made the world better, but the paycheck made your life better. Real. Real, yeah, the, the salary in engineering is, is mostly good. Although robotics engineering, it's not like other tech salaries. Um, because they can assume that you've dreamed of it since you were a kid and you've been doodling robots on your notebook. And they're right. Um, but this is the thing, yeah, is like, music kind of does more. Even for me, and I'm a pretty small musician in the scheme of things, I don't think I'm actually gonna make anything that has as much utility to as many people as the my least favorite song I've released. <laughs> if only because uh, nothing you make as an engineer, Einhart, thank you, actually gets used. And so, you know, that's kind of amazing. And on top of that, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you love him far. <laughs> On top of that, I can't do as much evil either. Like, the most evil thing I could do as a streamer, the most evil thing I could do is honestly, like, just not that evil compared to, like, <laughs> making the instruments of war and death, you know? Yeah, so, so, honestly, the things that I do as a streamer, I kind of... I think I kind of... can do more good and less bad. Uh, and that's kind of awful to think about <laughs> but here we are there are a lot of bad things that you could do as a streamer but for the most part how do i explain this twitch doesn't encourage you to like twitch would get me in trouble for doing most of the most evil things that i could do as a streamer meanwhile i would only be rewarded in my engineering career for doing evil things you know what i mean you know what i mean I don't know, man. I'm uh, bitter and sad in a way that I shouldn't be. I feel like people can probably tell that. I, I want to keep the vibe light and hopeful. And I am light and hopeful, I hope. How do I explain it? The project I was working on was one that could have really, really helped people. One that could have helped people who could not have babies have babies. And we were really, really close to publishing something that would have gone a long way toward that. And it felt to me... How do I explain this? Because I haven't really talked about it on stream. I said like, oh, you know, my project is ending. I'm looking for other jobs. I'm on sabbatical. But I haven't, I haven't really talked about the details of it. I really believed in what I was doing. And it felt kind of cosmically. I've talked a little bit about how sad I was leaving defense work. And how evil it made me feel. And how I couldn't sleep or eat or anything, you know? 
And that was all a while ago now. But when I got this job, it felt like I could kind of cosmically undo the damage I'd done, you know? It felt like I could unevil myself. Like, if I helped people have babies, that's the opposite of helping people kill people. And I would be... better? I know that it's selfish and silly, and it's a pretty myopic and, I don't know, self-important view of the world. Um, but that's how I felt. And so, when the project ended, in such an unceremonious way, I mean, literally, the selling of people's biological material to other companies who will sell it back to them for more money, <laughs> which just feels like the most evil thing, and it never got published, and all of the work we did was for nothing. I felt like maybe there was nothing good I could do in engineering. I am still trying. I'm trying to do something good. I, I'm lucky enough to have this, so while I could be reassigned to a pretty bland, boring thing, I'm kind of disillusioned with the company that I was working for and my capacity to do good there. Uh, and so I'm not sure if I want to go back, but I have the option and I'm lucky to. I'm not sure if I want to go back there. Where was I in my career when I started streaming? Uh, I was working for a very evil company. <laughs> I was working for a very evil company and uh, then I wasn't. I'm so lucky, right? that I got the opportunity to do two things now since then that were less evil. Evil is in defense or evil in other ways. Listen, there are more and less evil things you can do in defense, and while I can't talk about it, well, all I can say is I was doing an evil thing. <laughs> what I was doing in defense was evil, really evil. That's all I can say. I don't know cosmically if I'll ever feel like I've done as much good as bad. At the end of your life, I don't really think that anyone is going to calculate all of the good you did and all the bad you did. I've done, I've done my best since then. I've worked at two places that weren't evil. My sins would weigh heavily against a feather. Same. <laughs> Same. So I'm, I'm trying to find something good to do. And because of all of you, because of your kindness, I'm comfortable waiting out the length of my unpaid sabbatical, applying for jobs that actually mean something to me, trying to get jobs at companies that are really mission-driven, and trying to find jobs that, um, to the field of engineering. Um, robotics. Uh, robotics, but anything in the realm of mechatronics. I am probably even qualified to do some dumb back-end programming work. I don't know why I called it dumb. A lot of people in here are programmers and they're really smart. I call it dumb, I think, because I'm self-conscious about it. <laughs> That's why I called it dumb, because I was silly and self-conscious. But uh, I feel like those jobs are fewer and far between than they've ever been. Y'all have seen me grind leap code. Uh, I've, I've done some coding at every job I've ever had, and most of what I've done has been in, like, software for robots, uh, in perception specifically. So anything in software I think I could probably handle. Do I like coding? Yeah, I'm just stupid. I think it's fun. I, I just feel, I don't know, self-conscious? Talking about anything I do on here. Because, like, <laughs> I'm not really great at any of it. And I feel like there's a way, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like there's a way that when you're a streamer and you say like, oh, I do thing, people just kind of assume you're really good at thing, uh, and I'm not really good at anything. So, you know, I just don't want you guys to come away thinking that. Like, I feel like people think like, oh my god, Ellie's an amazing engineer, and like, guys, I'm not. <laughs> I've had a few engineering jobs, I don't know what I'm doing. I I'm like, I'm a kid, I'm, you know, I don't know, man. <laughs> I am baby. <laughs> Internet always works in extremes? Yeah. Well, you know, I'd rather they believe I know nothing than they believe I know everything. They're probably closer to right. So, I'm applying to a few jobs here and there that look really good and mission-driven. I don't want to do another job that's not good. Uh, you mentioned to some EV uh, core mates ah! <laughs> about working for MIC contractors, and there, uh, the three that said, if you have a conscience, don't do it, you'll hate your job. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, I'm trying to do something good, uh, and if I can't, I'm just gonna keep streaming for a while, and it means the world that I have you guys letting me do this. <laughs> that you guys are willing to let me just do this. Um, so thank you. We'll see how it goes. I, I hope that I find something meaningful to do. And if I don't, I'll go back to working at this company when my sabbatical's over. I'm good with that. <laughs>